Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to um, put my hair on for just a moment. Um, this message, this video is a video response to El Flournoy, um, a.k.a. Lee Salts. Hi, Lee. Um, this is Maria Willoughby. I just came across your video because I was looking at another YouTuber that was talking about um, just being careful what you post and that type of thing. And um, I think you commented on one of his, and I saw another video of yours that got my attention, and it was about weaves and hair and all of that type of thing. And I've always had a very strong opinion about it, so I wanted to share it. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to speak off the top of my head, and then as you were, I saw your video a couple of days ago, um, but I didn't want to reply off the cuff, one, because I'm a naturalist, and so I wasn't really... Um, uh, when I say naturalist, meaning that I was just sitting around here with skin showing and I didn't feel like recording right then. Um, but um, I, I'm going to go ahead now. And I had to watch a video again just to kind of, you know, make sure that because I had a lot of emotion when I saw it the first time and that whole lot of emotion. And I didn't mean to hit that. That just happened. My mistake. But um, that whole lot of emotion that I saw, it was um, that I felt. And I have a lot of distractions going on, so you got to excuse me. But all of that emotion that I felt, you know, plus the fact that I was in my natural state, um, it may have kind of rubbed you the wrong way. So I, I try not to do that, especially with women, folks, because women are just, whew, but you seem to be very intelligent. Um, so what I was going to tell you was that basically when I grew up, in the 70s and 80s, everybody was natural. It was all beautiful, regardless of your race, your mixture, whatever. It was beautiful. Whatever your hair was, you managed it. And it came out looking lovely. The thicker and more coarse your hair was, when you flat ironed it or straightened it, it had more body. It was beautiful. Um, the finer your hair was, it was easier to straight iron. But, you know, the moment a little bit of humidity happened, it puffed up. So everybody was beautiful. We appreciated each other. I grew up in a military town. So you had all different textures of people, colors of people, mixes of people. Um, and I saw your video. You said, and I really wish that you had posted the link to that guy's video because I really would have liked to seen it, to have seen it. Um, and I just watched it again. I just took some notes. So some of it may be kind of funny. Um, I think you saying that his video was that weave is a big deal. And I don't think it's a big deal, but I think, you know, what, and I didn't see his video, but I think a lot of people, like myself included, I just miss naturalness. I just miss a natural human being. No fake boobs, fake eyelashes, fake eyes, fake fingernails, fake hair, fake everything. You know, I'm just like, whatever happened to a natural human being? You know, and times are changing, so it's going to get to the point where we're all... Um, you watched that other guy too. I forgot his name. 2005 Fearless. So it's going to be a time when we're all forced to be unnatural. So why not enjoy the natural beauty of who you are now? Um, I don't think, you know, I think that you should have pride in yourself. And you seem to me like you are what you say. You're very confident and so forth and intelligent. And you use your um, weave, you know, the way that you want, which is fine. And I don't think... You know, wearing a weave is not about whether the problem with pe people have with wearing a weave is not necessarily, at least like for me, about whether you're financially able to or not. It's about whether you're willing to take the time to invest in yourself and your natural beauty. Um, lots of beautiful black women from other Afro cultures wear their hair naturally. Um, Haitians, Jamaicans, Bahamians. And there are natural styles that black women can wear that no other race can wear because their hair simply cannot do it. Um, when I was growing up, again, everyone was natural. It didn't matter if you were mixed or not. And everyone had beautiful hair that they took time to take care of. The versatility of um, styles and textures of natural African-American hair are absolutely amazing. Because you can see one woman that's brown, but her hair is just coarse and thick. See another with that woman that's brown and it's different textures throughout. Some of it's coarse, some of it's thick, some of it's wavy. It's just gorgeous and absolutely amazing. Why would you cover that up? Why? You know, um, there's a YouTuber, I think his name is Soto Meyer or something. I hate him because he seems to really hate black women. But it's some things that he say, you know, that, <laughs> and I don't watch him, but, you know, I'll catch a little bit of it. And he calls like the women that wear weaves hat heads. And I can kind of see that because. I remember one time standing at a bus stop and this girl was just standing there doing like this and I got scared because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is in Atlanta. I was like, this woman is crazy. What is wrong with her? <laughs> you know? And then finally I was like, you know, are you okay? 
And she was like, yeah. I was like, why are you beating yourself in the head like that? Like, she was just trying to beat herself up. And that's literally what she was doing. And she was like, oh, my head is itching. My head is itching. I was like, well, why don't you just scratch it? And she was like, oh, I want to mess up my hair. And I was like, just calm it back. Oh, shit, it's a weed. You know, I mean, to me, that's absolutely ridiculous. You can't even scratch your head. That's crazy. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand that. Okay. So, again, like you were saying, you don't feel like it's a problem as long as you're financially able to do it. Your kids are not hurting or whatever. But, you know, truth be told, you're financially able to do a lot of things. But that doesn't mean you should. You know what I'm saying? What about your natural self? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're like I said, you're, you are financially able to do a lot of things. <laughs> you know, you're financially able to glue a tail to your... I mean, you're flat financially able to do anything. But promote your natural beauty. Promote what God gave you. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Some people can't even have... The, and you look to me like a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even have the ability to promote what they have because something happened. You know, they lost their eyeballs, so they have to wear a synthetic eye. They have leukemia or cancer or alopecia, and they have to get, you know, they feel necessary to get weaves and things like that. And I had seen a situation like that where, um, you know, in the place I live, I get so tired of everybody emulating black culture. And to me, they emulate all the parts that are bad, the gold teeth, the weaves, and the, you know, terrible slang, and, oh, yo, shorty, this, that. You know, and I hate that. And I saw this Spanish girl, very, to me, she was very beautiful, very attractive pretty pretty and most of them are but she was something about her spirit made her even more gorgeous and you could tell she obviously had on a weave and so I'm looking and then after a while I'm just like you know can I ask you something I think you're so beautiful you know why would you wear a weave you know are you doing that just because you have a lot of black friends and you know you could tell she got angry but she you know tried to calm it down and she was like she had alopecia and that's what I'm saying to you is that if you do not have a disease or something like that why would you do that to yourself why would you mess up with God, your mom, and your daddy gave you naturally? Why? I don't under, I don't understand that, you know? I mean, has there been a time period where you were natural? How long have you been doing weaves? And you did mention in your video that, you know, you said that with the type of hair that you have, that it's not that easy. But like I said, when I was growing up, there was women with all kinds of hair, you know? And they took time to take care of it. I have a sister. Her hair is like Indian people hair, very fine. My hair is Afro curly wavy. If you see, if you dare to see some of my other videos, you'll see it, you know. And it's just, but growing up, you know, we ne all our, I, the hair was never a big issue for us, except for my mom and dad. You know, my hair was too thick and bushy, like Deanna, Diana Ross and Long. They had cut it at the same time. But for me, it was nothing. I just go on and flat iron it. And go on to school or, you know, wash it at night and grease it and put rollers in it so it'll be all right in the morning. You know, um, whatever your hair is, deal with it. And then I heard some older African-American people talking about how they would, um, and I'm Irish, African-American and Asian, but how they would, um, back in the days, they used to take, you know, the real nappy kinky hair and they twist it a certain way and it's so pretty. And people don't even know how to do that anymore. Don't even know how to do it anymore. It's not something that they even, they had to tie it with rope or something. It was beautiful, you know? And that's sad to me. You know, it's like you've lost the whole true African-American culture. It's sad to me, you know? And again, like I said, I remember at the advent of all this fake hair, I remember thinking it was so distasteful when I started seeing fake hair laying in the middle of the sidewalk. Then it happened where it was laying in the middle of the sidewalk in different colors. And like I said, it really got out of hand that one day when I saw that lady just doing, really seriously doing like that. And I was like, what the hell? You know, now I believe if you love yourself, you know, you let all of you, 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 you let all of you show naturally. You know, I don't know why you would glue anyone with glue, staple stitch, whatever, some extra animal tail or someone else's hair to your body. That's you. I wouldn't want anything else touching me. That's your body that God and your mom and dad gave you, you know? I don't get it. I don't get that any more than people that go get plastic surgery. I remember when I was in Atlanta, this girl, pretty black girl, real thin, and um, to me, her feet look all right. She went to go get surgery on her feet, so her feet would look better. No words, you know, and then you got people putting butt implants 
I mean, just ridiculous. I mean, to me, all of that stuff is just ridiculous. I mean, it's so ridiculous. What I thought was the best picture of that when Will Smith had that thing on Bel Air, Prince Fresh Prince, when Gina, Tisha Campbell came and it was a hurricane and she was this big, beautiful thing. And when she finished, she was just this bald headed thing with no nails, you know? And I just, I mean, as a man, like if I was a black man or a man, I wonder how that feels. You know what I'm saying? To have this beautiful woman when you go out in the street and then when you come home, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just something totally different. So that would make me feel like, you know, he just wants something to show off. And then when you come home, it's all about the, you know, whatever, because it ain't nothing he can look at, you know? I don't know. But I don't, I'm just into promoting just natural you all, all the way, you know? Um, now, looking at you, like many of us, I can see that you are, you know, you are truly, truly a beautiful woman, naturally. I just don't get the weave thing, you know? And I've had my hair jacked up semi-permanently. Um, somebody put a perm in my hair, and I and I don't do perms, but they said they were putting a conditioner in. It was at a beauty salon. That never grew back. But I didn't go glue somebody's ass to my hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a horse's ass to my hair or whatever. You know, and, um, you know, what I'm saying is not to make you angry. Because I know we're women, women, you know, they, they get angry real fast. But like I said, you're intelligent. You might be able to kind of break it down <laughs> and kind of give it back to me. But, um, you know, I'm I'm cool with this. You know, it's me. And, you know, I got to tell you, I love me some me, you know, whether I'm thick, fat, squinty eyed, you know, round face, all of that, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's me and I'm in love with it. You know, how can you be in love with yourself if you don't even know what you yourself naturally look like? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just let it go. And like I said, just, just, you know, and how can you be in love with yourself? Not just talking about your hair and things like that when you don't spend time with yourself, you know, and, and this is something that I have to kind of gauge myself with, you know, but I'm good at leaving, like, you know, I don't have a phone and all that stuff, but leave your electronics at home for a day, get in touch with your own thoughts, you know, your phones, your computers, your laptops, your tablets, all of that, you know, and get away from everybody for a day. Can you live with yourself by yourself? Can you love yourself? Do you know who you are when you're all alone with nothing there, <laughs> you know? And I'm sure you go through withdrawal because I tried it, not intentionally, but something happened where I had to and I went through withdrawal real bad. Um, now, being confident and educated, you know, I don't think that has anything to do with making a conscious decision to alter your natural God-given beauty. Because you mentioned a lot of times that you were um, confident and educated. And I can't, you know, I don't know you whether to deny it or to affirm it. But if you feel that way and you express it, then, you know, I don't have a reason not to believe that, you know. But that alone does not have anything to do with a conscious decision to alter your natural God-given beauty. And it's not about what other races or any other individual does, um, does for that matter. It's about you. And it's about loving you yourself in the purest form, the way that God created you. And I have to admit about the chemical treatments and weaves. I never got that at all. You know, I never understood that, especially when after you got a perm or put the weave in, you know, you, it's, your natural hair looked better than all that. Your, your hair looked worse than after you got the perm or put the weave in than it did with just your natural hair. But for some reason, you still insist on keep on keeping on doling, keeping keep doling out money to do it. You know, I don't get that. You know, real or fake, you know, your hair right now, it looks nice, you know. And I can't tell either way. But again, I grew up with all natural hair and people of various hues and textures of black and brown to me. So it was so sexy, so real, so authentic, you know. Um, and in this world where everything is so fake, you know, realness is so appreciated. Um, I think every woman, regardless of race, should keep it natural. So that's part one. I'm long-winded, so you got to forgive me. That's part one.